all right so we are back in the shop and we're gonna continue with part two of uh, setting up uh, a new air compressor and you can see behind me there there's the old one looks like we're replacing that because I think these this was back in the 50s I believe when this thing was made um, and if you recall the last time we took that sucker apart, uh, inspected it, and you know put new gaskets, got it working pretty good. Uh, discovered a couple little adjustments that needed to be made, especially for the uh, compression release there. And but it looks ready to go. And here's the motor. This is actually a motor. It's only about six to eight months old. Uh, we had replaced the previous motor, which conked out. And here's the new tank. So it was primered when we first got it. And uh, you can see he uh, gave it a little paint job, a little quickie. And But that's what we're going to do today. We're going to... Uh, Assemble everything, mount the motor, mount the uh, uh, the pump, uh, put this on a stand. We'll have to do some drilling on this side. There's the motor mounts there so that we can move it back and forth to, to tension the, the, the belts uh, or belt. And then uh, we'll have to drill here for mounting the pump. And then we'll put it all back together and put it in shape and get that sucker running. So here we go. So you can see we put the bottom drain in place before, you know, while the tank was still on its side, uh, before we lifted it up. And we got it upright and then immediately, you know, started test fitting everything, put the, the motor in place. And you see we're using the, the stands, the, the mounts that came with it, you know, just for test fit. Um, put it down and then put the pump in place and positioned everything and looking at uh, you know making sure there's clearance for everything and then putting the the belt in place of course we can you know always get a longer shorter belt as needed uh, we just wanted to test fit and make sure what's going on Okay, as we were testing, test fitting the pump and the and the motor, you can see how we remade uh, the mounting brackets for the motor. What we ran into, it turned out the pump needed to be all the way near the back for clearance on the hose here on the tube. So that meant we had to move uh, the motor back to line it up. It was only about half an inch or so, but you can see how offset it was. So we got everything test fitted. We got a new uh, belt for it. And you can see it's one that has the uh, adjustable links on it. And that's where we're at. So we're gonna start mounting everything. We gotta still drill holes for the, uh, for the pump. We're gonna extend uh, the oil drain tube here out and down and then we'll start connecting all the, the hoses uh, but this is just a test fit we're going to move everything in place over there in the corner uh, so it'll be a little easier to lift and then we'll mount everything so that's where we're at let's get started so then with the the pump sitting there we marked everything off and started uh, drilling and tapping uh, the mounting holes on that uh, the mounting plate and we figured well we'll we'll drill it and we'll try tapping it now and you know if it doesn't work out then we can always put a nut on the bottom you know just drill through and put a nut but uh, the tapping was actually wasn't bad at all and it you know um, the tapping turned out pretty good so we put it in place and uh, you know just put the pump on there snug just so that we can test fit everything and you can see the new belt that we're using um, 
hanging there on the pulley. And it's one of those, you know, uh, a chain link, I guess, belt that you can adjust, take a link on and off. But uh, then we put the, that's the input hose to the tank, you know, the output from the, uh, from the pump. And all the fittings on there we got put on, uh, sealed properly. There's, uh, there's the pressure gauge. Everything was looking pretty good. So we moved it over to the corner. Now we put the, the motor in place. You can see the new, uh, the new mounts we put on there. We just uh, cut it out of uh, aluminum. And, but it adjusted very nicely. And we put it on that little stand there. And we can always you know, add to it so it won't rock you know, side to side because it is going to be kind of top heavy. Um, but everything was fitting pretty well. So with everything in place, it was almost time to put uh, the pump on. And it is much heavier, so... We got everything ready, and and then the positioning of, uh, of the tank itself so that we have easier access. <laughs> carrying that that big pump around because it is kinda kinda heavy big old cast pump but uh, so we made sure the the oil was properly drained um, we did it before and with this we went ahead and and tightened it down you know pretty tight because it's it's gonna be stationary you know so we went ahead and uh, and mounted it down Then we started putting, uh, attaching all the hoses, and you can see the the output there. Just make sure it was, you know, put the proper sealant and everything. And we used a uh, a high pressure flexible hose. It was a little easier to to work with, and it goes up to 300 psi, so it works pretty well. Then we went in and put oil in it, and given the the age of that pump, we were figuring, well, you know, because we don't know the spec on it, but Figure well, we'll probably go with 30 weight non detergent um, oil given the age, is probably what was put in there. And you can see he's working on the on the electrical hookups while I was doing that. Um, but it was pretty easy to hook up, it's, it's running on 220 and everything uh, uh, wired up pretty well. Big test. Air. I can feel it. Okay, I'm gonna watch the oh. motor valve this time. Yeah, I'm gonna watch the uh, the right. little spindles here. Ready? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to do. Perfect. Damn. Alright. Put the covers back on things. Awesome. Successful test.
So that was about it. We uh, positioned this so we can watch and see how long it would take to to get up to 150 psi. We had it set for you know 150 psi, and then it goes down and you know cuts back on at 90. And uh, so while we're doing that, of course, you can check for any leaks in your hoses or fittings. And everything went pretty smooth. It's just a few things to watch out for. Just make sure the the pump and the the motors aligning properly. Um, check for any leakage going in and especially with that new belt that we used it's that chain belt so I would definitely uh, pre-stress it because it will stretch out you know you figure each link is actually on there pretty loose and as you you pull on it and tug on it and pre-stress it and it'll uh, uh, so when and when you start using it you might have to you know readjust and tighten the belt a couple of times uh, while you're using it but but that's about it it actually went pretty smooth and once we got all the parts together so that's about it for this video we're just gonna use it and watch it you know just keep our eye on it but uh, but that's it so yeah thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe and look out for some new videos coming out very soon